In this video, I want to talk about um, how you can change the default settings for the registration, uh, the create user wizard. Remember in the last video, I told you that the password must be minimum of seven characters in length. So if you do not have seven, you know, seven characters for the password, then it's not going to allow you to have a password. And also another setting is that you must have a non alphanumeric character such as uh, maybe a dot sign or a commas, anything that is not um, a number or a letter must also be included in password. So there's a way to override that settings and I'm going to show you how to do that in this video because you might want, because that might be too tough for your user. Maybe you want to be a, 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 little, bit, a, a little bit less secured. So you might want your user to have maybe a minimum of four characters and maybe you do not require them to have an, a uh, and half a numeric character included in the password or maybe you want to be more secure and you want the length to be maybe say 13 characters minimum and you want them to have uh, two uh, um, non alpha numeric so what we're gonna do is just show you how to do it so what you want to do is um, you have to um, write a little bit of uh, information inside the web.config file so if you go ahead and open up the web.configuration file and go to the under the system.web so if you scroll down to the system.web underneath the system.web you want to pause the video and you want to type out all this information that I've written here so you want to type out membership and you want to make the, the, the default provider to be new provider so we're creating a new provider you can name this anything so the default provider is a new provider and here I have created a provider underneath the membership and I've had this provider so add name equals to new provider and the type will be the SQL uh, that will be the SQL membership provider and uh, we want the minimum required non alpha numeric characters to be zero so we do not require the non alpha numeric character so if the user doesn't have any non alpha numeric that will be okay and we want to set the minimum password required so this is mean required password length to be three so any password at least three characters is fine I mean this is not secured you want to set it to something like six but I'm just using this for an example and uh, you want to include the last one to say the connection string name it will be local SQL server so if you type this as is you close the provider and you close the membership then uh, once you have it underneath the system.web then you've changed the default settings for the registration page so let's go ahead now and try our new settings let's save everything let's go to the register page and let's run our website So um, so now we can provide, a, let's say now in user, so we can say new user and the password will be pass, P-A-S-S, that's four characters, again, pass again, just four characters and the email we can say new user at mail.com, security question, uh, best at Washington okay let's create the user so remember we haven't included a alphanumeric character and our password length is 4 so if we create a user we should get a success and you see your account has been successfully created and because this is one of the uh, issues that people you know they usually don't know how to fix it so that is why i think instead of including this in advanced video it is be very it will be very useful for you to know it now so let's click on continue and uh, it's going to redirect us back to the login page where we can log in we can say new user and our password is pass so we should be able to log in so that information is useful so as you can see now we can preview the uh, staff only which is private so now we can view the private page so everything works fine so uh, another thing I want to show you which I've shown you before is uh, the the back end or maybe it's the front end for the database so let's go to the ASP.NET configuration and uh, you can see now that uh, let's see how many users do we have in our website
come on how many users do we have in our website we should have uh, so we have two users we have the near user ad admin 3 because the previous user I have deleted them so this is the one that you just created it you can edit the user you can delete the user or you can edit the roles we often talk about website roles so as you can see we have the new user the email address we don't have the description so you can save it or you can make the person to be active or not active so this is how you uh, deal with um, so another thing I want to point your attention to which I don't expect you to do anything with is if you notice that we have uh, this folder now called app underscore data which is ASP.NET database dot MDF so uh, you can see we have all this uh, information we can uh, let's double click on it let's double click on it you can't do anything with it so this is the database that w that holds all our username and password and everything that uh, we've been doing all along so I uh, just want to point your attention to that so you don't have to do anything with it just leave it as it is this is the database that is holding our usernames and password on the website thank you